What's going on guys? Keegan here for Punisher's Paintball. I'm here with media guy Doug, who is now in front of the camera. Woo! Once again. Today we're doing a comparison video between the infamous and the exalt tank cases. If you guys like this video, be sure to drop a comment, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to pick either of these bad boys up, there's a link in the description for either one. Let us know what you thought and we'll catch you after the intro. Alright guys, getting right into this comparison video of the two tank cases. Um, they're going to be fairly similar, they both serve the same purpose. And off the bat, they cost the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Both are going to be twenty four ninety five, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of comes down to personal preference. I kind of um, already have in my head the two main selling points for each one, so let's Yeah, so uh, let's just kind of break it open and see uh, what's in each one, or at least let's start with the design of them. Both um, are pretty hard. Yeah, both are going to be a real hard case. Uh, the infamous one is going to roll. That one is not quite as form-fitted to a tank. Mm -hmm. um, infamous, they're just classical pro DNA design uh, with the little, like, what would you call this pattern? Oh, like a woven, like a netting. Yeah, kind of like a, like a netted a kinda. netting pattern. It's That's classic cool. for them. Um, Exalt hasn't changed their, uh, yeah. their look much either. you got the standard E on the bottom as well. Um, yeah, this is definitely much more suited to sitting, staying in place. So. Yeah. Cool, works for me. Want to yeah. open them up? Yeah, let's open them up. Zippers are, well, I guess we kind of missed something on the outside. Oh, you do have a carrying handle. Yeah, you have carrying handles on both of them, actually. Um, I mean, they exact same purpose. It's You can't really say If one you want to split hairs, like, I mean, like, sure, you got more surface area to grab on this one. But yeah. Dude, I, yeah. If that's what's uh, breaking it down for you, then I can't help yeah. you. <laughs> Zippers, um, on the infamous, you have uh, a zipper that says infamous, got a little rubber piece on it. Uh, no one's had any complaints with them breaking or anything. Exalt, you kind of have the same deal. You got the rubber piece that says Exalt here. Exalt's just kind of weird. It's like a standard zipper, but then they have like a little tab that they with weave around it. With a bungee cord it. thing through it, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just different. Different approach to zippers. Works for me. So in here, you'll see we have two different size tanks. There, we have a 77 SL2 in the infamous tank. We have an infamous 68 tank here in the Exalt case. Uh, we'll do a swap here so you can see that yeah. they both fit in either one. But, so, as far as holding the tanks in, there is a strap in the Exalt one, so. There is. It's not going anywhere, it's very secure, it's just a little bit of Velcro, it's super light. <laughs> yeah, just fucking yeet it. <laughs> so, I would say that that's, not that's, a, that's a plus for the Exalt over the Infamous, is that you do have a strap to extra help hold it in place, but I mean, just wait to open your tank. <laughs> Maybe don't open it when you're in the don't middle like of driving. Don't open it and then grab it like this. <laughs> That's not going to do too well for you, yeah. but, um, okay, so let's remove the tank. Actually, here, let's swap up real quick, and did you see that it fits? We can't do anything right. Yeah, both of them fit. 77 absolutely fits, and I'll Velcro it in just so you can see. Me too. Just as... <laughs> and... Yeah. Um, these both also will hold an 80. An 80 will be fairly tight in the exhaust one. Pretty However, in infamous being that their main tank is an 80 size tank, is actually fit perfectly for an 80. Neither tank ta tank uh, neither tank, tank case neither tank case can fit a 90 cubic inch tank. Um, this one barely fits a 77 and barely fits an 80. However, neither will fit a 90 cubic inch or a 100 cubic inch. So. You're kind of SOL on that one. Yeah. Just wrap it in some microfibers. Speaking of microfiber, let's talk internals inside of these uh, cases here. The no. exalt. It's okay. It started rolling. It scared me. We're rolling. It scared me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So inside of the exalt case here, this is your more true like microfiber kind of material. So if your tank is dirty, this will kind of help to absorb it. As far as cleaning that, I don't necessarily see how you could take this out. So you might have to take another rag that's wet with some dish soap, wipe it out of there. Um, it has obviously this bottom strap, and then there's another one up here that I'm not like entirely sold or sure on what you can do with it. It's a super thick strap. Yeah. I would guess it's if you do separate if you do take your reg off, I'll even kind of test that as Keegan talks here. My guess is that you can set it behind there so that it doesn't move around in flight when you uh, when you fly with paintball tanks, you have to take your reg off of your tank. Yeah. So that's my guess. Um, yeah, Keegan, go ahead. I got some other points on my head. I'll wait yeah, for Yeah, so infamous tank, fairly similar. It's gonna be a much uh, like finer microfiber material on the inside of the infamous tank. So it's almost more of a yellow than a green on the inside of it. Yeah. Um, 
You're going to have this strap here, which is to hold in a regulator if you choose to have the regulator separate, just like this. Thank you, Doug. Mm -hmm. um, just like this is actually made specifically for the powerhouse regs. Um, just but, as up. You can make the Ninja regs work. However, it's more so designed for the powerhouse regs. Um, this is really nice so that you have a place, like Doug said, when you're in flight, you cannot take a tank with a regulator on it in a flight. Uh, they will not allow you to. Um, and so it's really nice just being able to throw your tank in there and then have the reg set separately just like that. That's um, what it looks like. It yeah. looks a little more jank than the uh, Definitely. infamous one, but yeah, serves the purpose, does but, well enough. Um, that's kind of why they put the reg holder here. Uh, you have another one down below inside of there um, that kind of has this netting on it. I would probably use that first if, uh, if I were able. Yeah, just like that, um, which is really nice. Not going to go anywhere. Uh, you can actually, it has a cutout as well, like you guys saw, so that I'll s screw this on real quick. Nice. Um, so that when you do put your reg in, it's not going to be hitting here at all and it's not going to be damaging when you close it, which is really nice. Uh, so they kind of, they kind of, took every approach to how you could put a reg in your case. Yeah, they both really thought of just about everything. So, yeah. I mean, for me, like a big pro with the Exalt case is definitely the ability to strap your tank down. However, I like that you have more, uh, rather like multiple ways to hold your reg when they are separate in the Infamous. I also, uh, I would say I prefer on the Exalt a couple things. It's a little more uh, economically sized, so it's just smaller, fits in your bag a little better. I like that it won't roll and I really like having actual microfiber inside. However, some points that I will give to the infamous are that it is it is bigger so you can't you have, you know, it's a little easier to fit your reg and the inside and just like as I kind of pinch and like knock on it. This just feels harder. Yeah. Now unless you're dropping these like, you know, <laughs> off the back of like a semi if you drop this off the table in either one, you'll be, your tank will be fine. Yeah. It's going to keep it from getting scratched. It's going to keep things from going super wrong. Um, but I guess if you were to like death test it, which let us know in the comments if you want us to do a death test, <laughs> I think they would hold up a little better in the infamous one. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, it also has a lot more space in here to protect your reg from getting damaged, mm -hmm. um, which that's the big thing. When you drop a tank, it's like if the gel coating chips, whatever, I have it's chips on mine. Um, it's not actually damaging the actual uh, tank. It's not, it's not harming like the structural integrity. Yeah, um, but if you drop it on the reg, you will be. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah that's going to be 180 bucks. <laughs> yeah, which is not fun. So um, for me, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm probably just going to, if I got one, which I don't really use cases to be honest. Um, I probably should, but I don't. Uh, is... <laughs> uh, I'd probably go with the Infamous just because, as always, I love Infamous and everything that they make. I like the design of it, uh, and I also like the fact that they have like a dedicated cutout spot for your reg yeah. when flying. Um, it almost looks like it was an afterthought on the Exalt case. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. Um, overall, I just kind of like the way that Infamous designed it more. So. That's fair. Um, That's fair. Uh, and but, again, guys, they cost the same. You're splitting yeah. hairs. Both are going to do the job and get it done for you. It really just comes down to which brand do you have more of an affinity for. But I think that's going to do it yeah. for this video here today. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment. Let us know if you want us to do a destruction test on some, uh, on some cases. We'll see if we can get Joel on board with it. If you'd like to grab either of these bad boys, I will put a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.